Watson Elementary School serves a diverse population of about 300 students, many of whom are economically disadvantaged. Effective family and community engagement practices fall under Turnaround Practice 4, School Climate and Culture, which is research-based guidance that has been shown to effectively turn around underperforming schools in Massachusetts. Watson Elementary is a turnaround school that collaborates with families and local community partners to make the school a better place. My first impressions were that it was a school without a purpose. There was no sense of community and very little pride. So I felt that bringing the community in would help a long way. If parents are involved in education and the community bought in and helped us, we would be much more successful. You know, what, what fits perfectly between us both is our missions. Our goal, as are the schools, is to make sure our children are on track to graduate from school with a plan for the future whether it's targeting a kid that might be here at Watson that needs remedial help after school, they can come to the Boys and Girls Club. If you're new to a school and you want to improve family engagement, you have to learn about your community. You have to go out and meet the people. I think that we needed to connect the, the staff uh, into the community. I put together a trolley trip and I showed them um, the neighborhood and I think was was very well taken by the staff and I think the staff had learned a little bit about the the community and the neighborhood what they teaching and six years ago when we realized that there was very little parent engagement here we met as a staff uh, over the summer and throughout the first year we didn't get any improvement in family engagement the first year because we really had to figure out how to do that. And we created a family engagement committee and we said, okay, what, what's missing? How are we going to get parents to come into the building? Why don't they come into the building? And we tried to problem solve that with staff and parents. I think one of the big ideas and changes that happened was around the idea of tradition tradition at school that many successful schools have traditional events that happen year after year. Establishing those traditions um, has allowed parents to feel comfortable having meaningful conversations with us. One of our favorite programs that we run here at Watson is a family fun night. They're called family fun nights because basically that's what gets people through the door. At family fun night we have games and activities for all of us to collaborate and work together and do things. When we first came to Watson there was not a lot of communication with parents. We basically relied on sending home papers and backpacks which we found not to be effective. A staff member found an app called Class Dojo. That is used now by every single staff member. It's a one-on-one -on -one way to communicate with a single parent and I want to say we have over 200 families that use it, so it's been the most effective way to communicate with everyone. I would tell a teacher who's just starting this turnaround process that building relationships with children is what's most helpful in the classroom, and building relationships with their parents is what's going to really solidify that progress that students can make in their classes. They know every parent's name, they, what child belongs to what parent, they know why you're here, they know the grandparents, they know the siblings, they know everybody. They taught us parents how to communicate better together as parents. Not only, and then they taught us how to apply that at home with our children. For us, it's a triangle. Student, teacher, parent. Content in the middle, supports surrounding that, community supports. So when we think about that work that we do with young people, it's a team effort focused on meeting the kids where they are, closing gaps, and opening doors of opportunity.